These days, fall is feeling cooler. The change of seasons in Minnesota is great motivation to better seal up the four corners of our off-grid cabin in the woods and also make the cabin feel as cozy as possible even though we are still in the building process. Welcome back to our cabin. I didn't know this, but there are lots of bricks in many wood stoves and it helps to hold the heat because when this warms up, it takes longer to cool down. So it helps to keep the cabin warm longer. We had taken these bricks out of the wood stove in order to move it when we were building the surround for the wood stove. And now that we have everything in place, it's time to put them back in. It's like the pyramids of Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> It'll do. Deer stand. Corey's old deer stand from a long time ago is unfortunately not as sturdy as it once was. Oh! That was loud! With all of the children running around this property all the time, it would be unfortunate if somebody was hurt. So it had to come down. See the mouse? It just ran out of the... <coughs> oh, yeah. Out of the thing when you pushed it over. The floor is actually solid yet. You're like, I don't know what to do. That was my house. <coughs> I was telling the mouse I'm not trying to hurt it. It wants to run away. Hi, buddy. Thank you to Super Sparrow for sponsoring this video. Super Sparrow creates water bottles for a lot of different activities. This one is the one I've been using today. This is my coffee hot beverage thermos. I like this little spout here. The coffee doesn't come like flying at your face like it does with some coffee mugs and thermoses. These products are meant to be reused, so if you're looking to cut down on the amount of waste that you're creating in plastic water bottles, it's actually really awesome to invest in a water bottle that you can reuse and one that you'll actually like so you want to reuse it. This is an ultra lightweight way to keep your beverage cold or hot. It has just the regular top here and then this is one that you can attach a straw to and it came with two straws. Perfect for hiking, biking, yoga class, bringing your friend coffee, bringing your sick friend tea, making yourself tea, bringing to your cabin. This water bottle even has an infuser insert for if you like to infuse your water. Better water, better world. Thanks again to Super Sparrow for sponsoring this video.
You gonna show us what you got? Mouse repellent pouches. It's like a glare. There. Grandpa Gus's. I don't love the idea over there <laughs> of killing mice. So I like the idea of trying to repel them. And then <laughs> the mouse poison that we put out hopefully won't even need to be used if they are repelled. Do you smell? It actually smells really good. Yes. It's basically scenties. Wow. Yeah, it's mint and cinnamon. So apparently mice don't like mint and cinnamon. But we're going to put one in the wood pile that I just created up in the loft, under the cabin, in the bathroom. We are going to be working on the eaves and the sealing up of the edges of the roof up by the windows. This is the same thing we've been working on for a long time. Neither one of us like to work on a ladder. It's been put off the entire summer. Nice knowing you. <laughs> right? So that's the piece we're going for, and we need one more. Um, the plywood piece, yes. Ladder. 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 Holy cow! You're so strong. Yeah, are you installing it now? Let's uh, get her done. Get her done. <laughs> what do you think? It actually looks really good. Perfect. Beautiful? Beautiful. Looks lovely. Ugh. Now just this side. What? Well, I think it looks fine. Now this side. Right there to patch up that little hole. Honestly, the wood stove is probably the main attraction of the cabin. Like the going for a walk and sitting by the wood stove. I need to go to yoga school so I can host a two person yoga class for us in the cabin in front of the wood stove when it's snowing outside. Doesn't that sound lovely? We're taking a nap sounds lovely too. Take a nap. Okay. We have put plywood over here so that we can stack wood between this ladder and the wall to be used for winter. We would like to have wood in the cabin so it's easy access for the wood stove. We are aware that stacking wood in the cabin in the corner is a potential for a mouse home. The mice might really like our little wood pile. We did decide to bring some mouse poison. I hate that idea, but <laughs> our live traps have not been working. We do have mouse deterrent. We bought this mouse deterrent stuff. We're gonna put that everywhere, so hopefully that does the trick. I do have a cat that I'll probably bring to the cabin sometime. My cat is a great mouser, and I think just having a cat here might 
tell the mice that this isn't a great place to be. But for now, as we're still finishing the cabin, I don't want to freak my cat out. He's not super comfortable in new places, especially with loud noises and lots of work going on. So in the future, I will absolutely bring my cat here. Tonight for dinner we are having venison tenderloin, which was harvested from this property last year. We are also having broccoli and rice. This is my favorite kind of tea, so I'm going to use the extra water that I had to dump out for my rice to make myself a cup of tea. Not sponsored. We decided to go out and get two different kinds of suet to put in our fancy suet feeders that we built ourselves in a past video. Hopefully we can feed the birds a little bit through winter. Ooh, it smells like peanut butter. Ta da! Life may not be the party we hoped for, but while we're here, we should dance. Oh, Lovely. So 
Coffee, 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 coffee. Ready to get lots done? No, seriously, how did you sleep? Not very good. Up all night. Why? Uh, between too much water and uh, I think the squirrel was upset that I plugged off his door. It'd be really nice to get this big window behind us trimmed. Yeah, that would be really cool. So this mess here, all this stuff, um, Corey had the idea of cleaning it up, putting some of it under the cabin, putting some of it in the loft, and just cleaning this up in general. It's going to make the cabin feel a lot nicer for winter. You're so strong. Corey and I were just talking about the arch doorways in the cabin and different possibilities for how to trim the doorway using wood or using something else or maybe bending some kind of branch or brush. And there are so many different things we can do and because we're taking our time we can think about it more and ponder it, look up pictures to see what it looked like when other people did it and I think it's coming together really nicely. The mushrooms are already kind of gone. That was a really quick thing that happened this year. I've never seen such a super bloom of mushrooms before in my life, but what a cool year. And that's inspiring some kind of decor things that I would like to make for maybe at home, maybe in this cabin, maybe in the A-frame, I'm not sure, but Corey and I might work on making some kind of mushroom pieces out of wood. Do you want to show me your painting? Oh, last winter I spent time painting. We paint a lot in our family. We have like canvases and stuff, but one time we decided to paint wood at home and the painting I came up with, um, I put it on a piece of tongue and groove and I painted these mushrooms and I think it's really cool that we ended up seeing mushrooms that don't look exactly like this but kind of looked like this here at the land. Welcome back to Fireside Chats with Corey. 
All right, so we do get a lot of questions from viewers. You know, what are you gonna do when the cabin is complete? We do have a lot of uh, hopes and dreams. This is kind of our wonderland. Um, obviously, putting a deck on is gonna be the first thing we probably start next year. Once we get a deck on, we're probably gonna build like a sauna, probably a wood-fired hot tub, uh, talk of a zip line. We have a lot of interesting projects to think about and to play on weekends. If you like projects like these, please like and subscribe. Five and a half, five and a half. It's going. It's going. I think the butter knives is the trick, huh? Right? Would you say? Yeah. Oh. We have a windowsill. So some of our windows have these like channels that you have to put the boards into. Like we're trying to fit we are trying to fit this board into that channel over there. It's really difficult. This is a different window that does not have that channel. You just put the board in here. It definitely looks better. Ignore how dirty it is, but it definitely looks better when the board is in a channel and then it kind of like wraps over the top of the board. You don't have gapping here, but it's really hard to get the board to fit into that channel well because our boards are warped and not perfect and not straight and they're home sawn, so they just really don't want to fit in these channels. That's what we're having an issue with right now. We chose this board because of the cool coloring and stripedness of it. This board as well, these are going to be the trim boards for the two sides going up and down on the window. Ready, gorgeous? Aww. Oh, that's beautiful. Is it? That is so cool. Cool, I'm 
first, or we should just put it up there. Let's see what it looks like. with Super Sparrow. The one button click, that'll get you your drink. <laughs> yeah, nice and toasty. 